Hello, my name is Dr. Rudrani Banik, and I am Associate Professor of Ophthalmology at New York Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai. Today, I will be speaking to you about eye care for the elderly. I have no financial or commercial interests related to the content of this talk. The demographics within the United States, as well as within the world, are changing. People are living longer, healthier lives. As a result, the percentage of the population which is elderly is steadily increasing. For the purposes of this talk, I will be referring to the elderly as persons aged 65 and above, as defined by the World Health Organization. On this slide, you can see a graph of the rising elderly population within the United States from the year 1900 projected to the year 2030. The graph shows that the number of elderly persons aged 65 and above is steadily growing with an expected population of almost 55 million projected for 2020 and 72 million as projected for 2030. Correspondingly, the life expectancy within the United States as well as in other countries is steadily increasing. You can see from this graph that in the late 19th century, average life expectancy was approximately 47 years. This number has been steadily climbing, and in the year 2015, life expectancy within the United States is estimated to be 79 years. As the elderly population grows, we must be aware of some of the health issues which can arise during the later years. Vision loss in the elderly is quite common. In fact, one out of three persons have some degree of vision loss by the age of 65. Vision impairment can affect quality of life in many ways. Impaired vision can lead to consequences such as restriction of daily activities, decreased mobility, higher risk of falls and fractures, social isolation, and depression, and loss of independence. As we all get older, our visual acuity does tend to decline. The risk of visual impairment increases and the prevalence of legal blindness also increases. On this chart, the largest letter, the E, represents 2200, and the bottom line represents 2020. When a person cannot read the top letter E, that is considered legal blindness. Unfortunately, vision impairment often goes untreated, especially in the elderly population. According to one study, the three leading causes of blindness in the elderly within the United States included unoperated cataracts, primary open angle glaucoma, and age-related macular degeneration. Potentially one-third of blindness caused by these conditions is avoidable with early diagnosis and treatment. With proper care and routine ophthalmologic examination, we can help maintain normal vision, as we see on the right of this photograph. We also can potentially help prevent severe blurred vision or visual impairment, as we see on the left. Thus, early diagnosis and treatment can have a tremendous positive impact on one's quality of life. Currently, within the United States, there are four leading causes for vision loss in the elderly. These include, one, age-related macular degeneration, two, glaucoma, three, cataract, and four, diabetic retinopathy. During the remainder of this talk, I will review each of these conditions, their associated symptoms, findings on exam, and management.